As soon as you connect your computer to the internet, your computer or your device is susceptible to a compromise. When a threat actor or any malicious person makes changes to a system either by directly connecting to the device or by injecting a malware, the computer will show up certain symptoms and those symptoms are called as the indicators of compromise. The challenge here is to look for such indicators, collect them and analyze these bits of information and thereafter you need to determine what they mean. Incident responder is a person whose primary task is to gather and process such information which could initially look like a jigsaw puzzle but incident responder with all his experience will be creating a meaningful picture of the current state of the system. There are several tools that will help the investigator or the incident responder in the task. So we as incident responders or security enthusiasts need to collect, analyze and then determine whether or not a specific threshold is met for a particular infection to happen. The most common things that usually happen which is a part of the indicators of compromise are the ones that we're going to discuss now in this video series. You may see a lot of inbound and outbound network traffic going out of the device. If you see a lot of irregular network traffic, then that could be a possible indicator of compromise. Certain times when a user is logged in to the machine, you may see anomalous activities happening with a privileged user account, which is outside the scope of a regular user. You may also see geographic irregularities in the traffic or different network patterns where a user who's always connecting from let's say a geographical location called as Belgium but now the traffic is always coming from other parts of the world maybe Southeast Asia or probably United States which is an anomaly unknown user accounts logging onto your machine is also a red flag if you have a database then you as a database administrator will know about the regular read and write operations that happen on the database. But if the read write operations increase exponentially, then that is a symptom. It is an indicator of a compromise. HTML response sizes just bloating up and increasing the HTML response size is a possible cause. If there are volumes and volumes of requests for the same file, or the same object in a directory then again is something that we need to look at if there are mismatched port application traffic including any secure or encrypted traffic on the plain ports is also problematic if you see any suspicious file changes on your file system registry changes in the registry that is possibly suspicious and you as an admin have never done it then it is an indicator of a compromise. You may want to have certain tools deployed on the system that will detect any unknown registry changes or file changes. DNS, as you know, is a backbone of accessing data on the internet. If there are unusual DNS requests propagating to your DNS server, then that's something we need to look at carefully. If your patching cycle is, let's say, happens on every Tuesday of a month, maybe, um, and then you see that your system is being patched outside the scheduled time, then that is not right. It is also a symptom and an indicator of your device compromise. How about mobile devices? Not just computers or laptops and desktops, but today, Mobile devices are also commonly used in corporate and enterprise networks. What if the mobile device changes its profile or just reboots on irregular basis? It hangs and does not respond to the touches on the screen at all. On your system or the device you see lots of data in irregular places. Probably in the D drive you see a funny folder 
and inside that you see different kinds of files which are just named as garbage names and uh, that's that's bundles of data in incorrect places if you see volumes of web traffic connecting to the device it's also problematic signs of ddos activity like your computer shutting down services going off antivirus services being shutting down or new applications popping up these are all different kinds of indicators of compromise the ones that were listed is just the limited one but there could be a new set of indicators or new symptoms that may appear as and when the technology or the tools gets advanced and every compromise will exhibit its own kind of behavior once it is detected a uh, incident responder can zero in on that information fully document the nature and the scope of the problem and there are different sophisticated systems we have as on today there are laptops of different kinds mobile phones of different kinds with every device the kind of compromise will be different and hence the symptoms and indicators of compromise will also be different it's just the experience with the with the device and with the tools which will let the compromise and the symptoms surface as we spend time with it